Hello guys and welcome back to the audio plugin tutorial. So um, this is part two um, in today's tutorial we're going to be covering the um, the new BGM and BGS system and we're also going to be covering the voice acting channel. So uh, just to start off of course you're going to have the, the Mush Audio Engine plugin installed in your game. Uh, if you want more information like you forget all the plugin commands and stuff uh, all the information should be here. If you have any questions, uh, you can click this here, and, and this is going to lead you to the uh, official RPG Maker forum, where, where I'm pretty much active. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. So in the parameters section, uh, there's not going to be much to be to the there's not going to be much for um, for those two features. Basically, there's only the uh, uh, basically uh, I don't think there's uh, there's only the voice sound channel here. So. Um, if you're, you have this turned on, well, it's going to have a dedicated channel for voice acting like I explained in the previous video. So if you have any more questions on that matter, please check the other video. So all right, so um, those two features are pretty much going to be um, achieved via uh, plugin command. So let's just start. I'm going to start with the new BGM. So let's say uh, there's going to be a man here. Um, let's say this guy, oh, this guy. So when you speak to this guy, I'm just gonna create that. Play music. There we go. Actually, I shouldn't make this this a choice though. So. Uh, yeah. There's gonna be um, play music one, and then there's gonna be. I'm just gonna show you how it works. There's gonna be play music two. There's gonna be stop music one, and there's gonna be stop music too all right so there we go so here um all right so the plugin the first plugin command here well first of all you're going to go into plugin commands and then you're going to select the plugin uh, the plugin here and then the first one we're going to go uh, with is the play bgm so so the first thing you got to understand is this new bgm system doesn't override the old one so the old one is still um active in the game um the old one, which is the default one, which is um, all, there's only one BGM playing at every time and there's only one BGS, you can have multiple of them. Um, basically, the, the autoplay BGM for every map is still going to use the old one. And the reason why I, le I left the old one in is for compatibility reasons with all the other uh, auto plugins. So the new system is actually going to be like... Um, it's going to be very similar to sound effects. So you're going to have the ability to play multiple BGMs and BGS, and you're going to have also the ability to control them individually. So, how it works? So, to to play a BGM in this new system, you're going to enter under the plugin command here, play BGM. So here you're going to have a couple of arguments. The first one is just select which file. So let's say you, we want to play. Uh, Yeah, that's a pretty good theme, so let's go with this here. And then uh, we're going to go to the, set, the arguments. You guys pretty know what, what the, they mean. So the first one is pitch here. So this is just the pitch of the BGM. That's pretty straightforward. This is the volume. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to lower the volume, actually. So here. Um, the pan. Obviously, the padding It's a value between minus 100 and 100, which is... Um, if uh, where do you want the auto to be playing in the middle, from the right, from the left, of course. So those four features are the same as the old BGM system. All right, so next we have here the fade in. So um, this is something very weird because fade out is coded uh, and available in the event command and the event editor, but like fade in is not available, which is kind of weird. And it's also already coded into the into the engine but anyway so this is you set the numbers of seconds you want uh for a fed in so let's say three seconds to fade in there we go all right next we're gonna go to the interrupt so um this is how do you want the this particular bgm to uh behave when it is interrupted for example uh may, this is mainly for battle so you have three settings here you have ignore stop or pause so if you set it to ignore the BGM is just going to continue playing even when you enter battle. So, so if you set it to stop, the BGM will just stop playing when you enter battle, but it will not uh, play back once once you leave the battle and go back to the map. 
if you set it to pause, well, it's exactly what it says. So once you enter into the battle, the BGM will be paused and will not be playing during the battle. But when you go back to the map, the BGM will play back from where it's where, where it stopped before. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty simple. So then we have the auto remover. So um, with this new system, since you have multiple BGMs, well, you're going to have to control them manually when they play and when they stop. So uh, just to make your life easier, there's an argument called auto remover. So basically what this does is if you set it to true, um, every time um, the player transfer to a new map, um, it's going to stop the BGM for you automatically. So this is what it what it means by saying if true, the game will stop and remove the BGM automatically. So this is when the player transfer it to another map. If this is set to false, the BGM is just going to continue playing until you stop it manually, or if you have it to pause or stop or or stop, it's going to stop when you enter a battle. So, so this is uh, just to make your life easier. So by default, it's on, but if you want to control it manually, you can set it to false too. And the last feature, which is the most important argument, is the channels. So, since this is a the channel is a number between one and infinity, you can set it to whatever you like. But um, the important part is every BGM is in this new system must have a different channel number. This is basically how you you identify each BGM. So let's say you're going to be playing um, three BGM, so you're going to have channel one, two, three. So this is very important because um, when, you, when you're going to stop a particular BGM, for a, the game is going to say which channel you want to stop because it's hard to identify uh, every single BGM if there's no channel. So let's have a concrete example here. So this is the first one. Let's say we're going to also be playing a second BGM here called, uh, let's say, let's see, what are we going to play? Um, what's theme number? Oh, that was very loud. Sorry about that. Uh, team number two, like this here. The volume, let's set it to 40. There we go. The pitch, same, no panning. Uh, this is going to have a five second fade in. It's going to be pausing in the channel. So, this you can set, you can't set two BGM with the same channel. So if you're gonna if you're setting it to one, it's just gonna override the previous one. So it's gonna stop the previous uh, BGM. And it's gonna play this one instead. So we're gonna select two. This is in a different channel. So as you can see, if you want to stop them, you're gonna understand where the why the channel is so important here. So if you want to stop it, so stop BGM. It's gonna tell you which channel you want to stop. So if you set channel one here, it, well, it's gonna stop the the first theme. If you set it to channel two, it's gonna stop the second team. So we're just gonna leave it to channel one here. And yeah, fade out of three seconds, sounds perfect. And we're gonna do here, stop music two. Let's go here, stop BGM. And it's gonna stop channel number two. So there we have it. So let's test this in game. Uh, just to make it easier, we are going to deactivate the, the autoplay BGM. There we go. All right, let's go in game. We are going to reactivate the uh, the BGM. Let's leave the BGS out to make it easier to hear. All right, so there are no BGM right now, oh, except the the special BGM. But we're gonna, this is going to be the subject of the next tutorial. So all right, so this guy asks us which uh, the option. So let's say play music one. Oh, I'm sorry about that. There's a, uh, someone is already using channel number one. So this is what happens when you use uh, the same channel 12. So let's make it easier. We're gonna go with the uh, channel number 10. There we go, 10 here. I believe the journal theme which was playing on the piano, which was using the uh, spatial auto um, feature was using channel number one. So we're gonna be using other channel numbers. As you can say, you can use any number between one and infinity as long as you don't use the same number twice. So, so there we go. Of course, if you stop like channel number 10, well, an another BGM can use the number 10, channel number 10. So 
so this is going to be 10 here there we go and this is going to be 11 here there we go all right let's jump back into the game all right let's talk to this guy here play as you can hear team number one is playing with the fade in if you just click stop it's gonna fade out now play music number two and stop music number two the beauty with this system is since you have multiple they are independent from each other well you can play them both at the same time of course this sounds terrible because well having two f th themes playing at the same time is is where so let's stop number two and there we go only the theme one is playing now there we go and of course uh, playing multiple BGMs at the same time can be very useful for uh, for example if you have like spatial BGM for example there you go like this all right and of course this can be very useful if you have uh, for BGS for instance like this so you can There's a waterfall here, and there's a river here. So yeah, that that's pretty much it for the um, the new BGM and BGS system. So just remember that the channel. So yeah, the channel, which is the most important argument there. So it's used to identify the BGM inside the number of inside the container, which will contain uh, multiple BGMs. So yeah, uh, now we can move on to the next feature, which is the voice acting. Uh, the voice acting can be easily achieved uh, via plugin commands too. So let's go here, um, like this. This is how you play a voice acting. You go into the plugin commands and you click on play VSC. So this is gonna play a file inside the VSC channel. If you remember from the first video, the extra audio channel we created just for uh, specifically for voice acting. Uh, if that feature is set to um, false. It's just gonna play uh, the voice acting inside the the sound effect channel, which is not ideal in my opinion, but it still works. So, so the thing with the um, VSC, so you're gonna want to be using. Uh, let's go into the project here, RPG Maker Assets, Project Plugins, and all right. So inside the audio, you're gonna want to make an additional folder called VSC if you're using the VSC feature, of course. So this is where uh, you're gonna have all the uh, your sound, your voice acting uh, tracks. So this is better. So this is for better organization and uh, so for your project, of course. So all right. So you're gonna select the file here. It's pretty straightforward. So as you can see, it's audio audio VSC. So please be sure to like um, to not make any typos when you create the folder. So let's go. This is uh, we're speaking to Jordan. So it's gonna be his stream here. So we're gonna select the file name here, and then it's pretty much like any B, like any BGM or BGS or sound effects. So you're gonna select the pitch, the volume. Let's lower this a bit, like uh, maybe 50. The panning, the interrupt. So um, the interrupt is the same as the uh, BGM and the new, the new BGM and BGS system. So ignores is gonna be, it's just gonna keep playing when you change the scene. Uh, stop is just gonna stop it and pause is gonna pause it and it's gonna like uh, play it back once you once you're back onto the original scene the only additional thing is this works for battle and for the menu so you're gonna see when I set it to pause if you enter the menu while the voice acting is active it's gonna pause it and when you exit the menu it's gonna play back from where it, where it stopped so there you go and the next thing is the channel so since you can have multiple voice acting at the same time, oh, it's pretty similar to the uh, BGM and BGS system. You can all you can set it uh, to any number between one and infinity, but you can't have like a two voice acting track playing at the same time with the same channel number. Um, just uh, for your information, this one is a bit different too, because uh, once the voice acting track is finished, it's going to destroy itself and it's going to remove. Uh, 
itself from the container so once it's done you're going to be able to use uh, that channel again for another voice acting so let's edit to channel one since I don't think any, any, anything else is playing so that's pretty much all you need to know for voice acting so all right sorry about that I had a little technical problem all right so everything is all right so we're gonna head into the game there's no volume just give me a second all right so let's uh, I'm gonna increase the VSC channel so you can hear it properly so here is Giorno The volume is a bit too high. As you can see, Kono Jorno Giovanna ni wa yume ga aru. Well, what is he, what's he saying? So, if I pause, it's gonna stop. But if I go back to the map, it's gonna start from where it stopped. As you can see. So that's pretty much it for voice acting, guys. In this video, this plugin is just the foundation. So. Uh, it's not going to like uh, create a specific and specialized voice acting uh, system. This is going to come in the future plugin, but this is this plugin is like the um, the base, the foundation of uh, of a new uh, audio system. So that's pretty much it for voice acting, guys. It's pretty simple. It's just a single plugin command. Just remember uh, how it the interrupt argument and the channel argument. That's pretty much it for today. So um. I hope you liked the video and I'll be back in the next video to like teach you about this spatial audio feature. So see you next time.